Today we're going to go over a full in-depth demo tutorial for the 3D Practice Student Plan. To record a new swing, first we need to set up our camera from face on with either a G-Pod or a tripod. To record your swing, tap New, then tap New Recording. Pick your club, adjust the brightness, tap Auto to turn on the voice guidance. You can tap the timer icon right here to delay your start, but you don't really need this with the voice guidance. Then step in front of the camera and get your full body in frame and wait for the voice guidance to tell you when to swing. All set. Three, two, one, go. You can take up to three continuous swings and the app will automatically cut them up for you. Once you're done, tap Review Swing. Then tap Create Session. We'll go into this section more in detail later. All right, to import a swing from your phone, tap New, then tap Import from Phone. Remember before uploading your swing, it has to be filmed from face on in slow-mo and trim the clip to make sure you're only uploading your swing alone. To trim your swing, slide that big bar all the way to where your swing is just displayed in the camera roll. And then slide the little brackets below all the way to each end. And then upload your swing. You can create seven sessions a week, but you can have multiple swings in one session. All right, let's analyze our swings now. Tap on your session. When your 2D swing appears, you'll see the watch list below automatically. To hide the watch list, tap on the target icon then tap hide watch list. If you tap on the boxes inside the watch list, it will immediately make the jump to the swing position that pertains to the watch list item. And using the arrow button, you can go back and forth between multiple swings in the session. You can also do this in the 3D screens as well. Now let's analyze your swing in 3D. Tap on the analyze in 3D icon in the top right corner, and then your 3D swing should appear. To view different POVs, tap on the view icon here. You can select from the following, down the line, face on, above, below, behind, and from target. We'll stick with face on for this demo. Tap on the 3D icon to switch from 3D to 2D to split screen. You can move throughout the swing by using the purple dot here and drag it along the gray bar. Or you can slide the scroll here to see frame by frame throughout the swing. Or you can jump directly to a swing position by pressing the golf club here at the bottom and choose from our seven key swing positions. Address, backswing club shaft horizontal, top of backswing, downswing club shaft horizontal, impact, follow through club shaft horizontal, and the finish position. You can change the playback speed by tapping on the one X here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And you can select from the following, 0.25X, 0.5X, 1.0X, or 2.0X. You can add a visual by tapping on the 3D diamond icon here. And then we're going to select chest turn and pelvis sway. And then your visuals will be displayed on the screen like so. You can press the numbers tab and you'll be able to see all the numbers that are being tracked as we move throughout the swing. To view your watch list in 3D, tap on the target icon at the top. You can have a max of three watch lists at a time. Tap on the create watch list right here and students can pick from all the popular watch list selections to set and practice, but they cannot create a customized one. Their coach will have to do that for them. To add a reference swing, tap on the three dots icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. And unfortunately, the students can only view reference swings. They cannot add their own. The coach will have to do that for them as well. Moving on to the sessions tab, tap on the sessions icon here at the bottom of the screen. This is where you can see all your existing sessions. If we tap on the three dots in session 11 here, we can see the following options to choose from. Rename, add tags, delete session, upload your swing so your coach can see, and finally, analyze the session. We can go to an individual swing by tapping on the details icon next to the three dots here. From here, there is another set of three dots next to each individual swing. Here we can analyze that specific swing, delete the swing, upload the swing so our coach can see, Save the 2D swing to our phone and edit any metadata, but you can't edit the fields for an imported video itself. And finally, we can also add tags to this session by clicking on the tag icon here at the bottom of each session. We can add tags like flushed, hide draw, pull hook, etc. You can favor any swing by tapping on the star icon here and the share button next to the star can share the 2D version of the swing to any one of your choosing. And finally, we're gonna cover the Inbox tab. To find the Inbox tab, go to the home screen, then tap on the Inbox icon here at the bottom of the screen. 
This is where students can communicate with their coach by receiving lesson notes, voice over screen recordings, along with drill content, tips, practice plans, etc. With all this, students can now stay on track and improve a lot faster with the help of the Sportsbox 3D Golf app.